Hello everybody, my name is Ungar and welcome back to World Box. Now, last time went a lot quicker than I expected, but I have made a new map and we're here to start again. Now, the story for this one is the Republic of Circuit, after winning last time, had a little bit of problems keeping their empire together and has split into three different empires. They've got the Republic of Circuit over here, Foe's Tribe, and Watermelon's Brigade over here. Now, a holdout group of the Odessian Empire and a remnant force of Kerbo's coalition have also established themselves on this little outskirt area over here. And how I intend this map to work is these three should be fighting each other while these two sort of slowly trickle in units from some of these side areas. And since these guys are all elves, eventually these guys should be able to bring them back into one empire. Maybe one of these other two should win, but these guys have almost double the space and a bunch more resources. So it's just a matter of time till they can reunite. But hopefully these four together, if they make an alliance, can defeat the Republic of Circuit once and for all. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. 5x speed. And for the first little while here, I think we'll go into a time lapse. <laughs> Alrighty, so, if we pause here, war has just been declared, and I think we have a problem. These guys cannot grow for some reason, so I think the problem is they don't have enough space. So what I'm going to do is just open this up. I sort of wanted more of a choke point, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to have that. So we can just go in here and open up this big area for them. And we can also open up a bigger area for these guys down here. They've collected most of their resources, so I don't believe at this point that it's really going to affect them that much. We can also open up this here and then start moving into this. Maybe we'll have this be more of a choke point, but yeah, we can just open all of this up. Maybe also grab more space around the edges here. And I think that these guys are going to get wrecked in war. So to help them out just a little bit, because I don't want this to be a one episode series again, as that would kind of be a little annoying if once again they just got immediately wrecked in the first episode. So I think we're going to declare peace just for now. Next time, though, uh, they will be allowed to fight. So where is peace? I'm really not good at this game. There we go. Friendship. Come on, guys. You cannot be going to war. Thank you. Please return home. And let me go to the laws. World laws. Angry villagers. We'll do old age off just so that we can get some more population going. Rebellions will also be off. Animal spawn is on. You could probably turn off natural disasters. And yeah, there we go. So let's go take a peek at our empires. Number one, Republic of Circuit. These are our main fellas over here and they're not really doing the best with 23 population. And I think they're starving, so why don't I go and deliver them a couple lovely little, what are these, berry bushes? Uh, okay. Well, yeah, this didn't go exactly as I had planned, but not to worry. I'm sure our empires will probably survive, and it looks like they're disbanding their um, ally ship, which is going to be very lucky for our little elvish empires down here and now that we have all this going we can add a couple berry bushes just so that these guys don't starve just yet and now i think they're gonna have to run their own empire let's just give us uh, some rain as well why don't we 
just make sure that these guys are all nice and rained on. Oh, they're expanding outwards. That's very interesting. So these guys are pretty much going to get wrecked by these dudes. Same here. They're going to probably declare war on the Odyssean holdout down here, which is okay. So, um, yeah, it looks like who is at war right now? The Kerbo's Remnant is at war with, like, literally all of the elvish civilizations, which have teamed up. And just as I suspected, they're running around in these little tunnels and beating each other up. Our strategic little choke points here, but holy crap. Wait a minute. Is that Topher? Yes, it is. Tof de Loaf up here doing whatever he wants to do. Yeah, I decided to name this wizard Tof, and he's gone. Well, oh, the king was just slain. Well, that's not good. Yeah, we lost. Who'd we lose? I think we lost Watermelon. We lost Watermelon. No. Well, at least their civilization is still up and running and very large. All of these guys are now starting to pop off, and we can have a more even and fair fight. So, yeah, these guys are also pretty huge. Let's take a peek at their cultures. So, what do they have? Swords, bows. So, what are our, our elves have? Swords, bows, spears. They have a good couple of weapons going. The Odessian Empire down here just has swords. And how about Kerbo's Coalition? They've just got swords as well. All right, so these guys are more fit for war, but they are currently surrounded and it's pretty much elves versus Kerbo's coalition and the Odessian holdout because these two aren't at war with each other but these guys are at war with both of these very interesting dynamic that's sort of what i wanted from this map is for these guys to be encircled but hopefully they would team up and be able to take these guys down which is exactly how it's going although they aren't one nation they are definitely you know, oh, these guys are suing for peace. So the Odessian holdout is probably about to get wrecked if we don't get some help in here. And I've really got to get better at balancing world box maps because last time it was just immediate destruction and same with this time. So next time I'll make sure to balance out the maps, but I think are already this is only going to be a one video map. I think I'm going to do something like this because I do like the little tunnels that they're running around and having big fights in. Some strategic choke points, but definitely more space for some of these fellows because um, they really don't have a lot, sadly. And yeah, look at this. It's going actually really well for the elves. We can see blue, which is Republic of Circret, and orange versus the Odessian holdout down here. These guys are at peace, so it looks like if these guys can just survive a little longer, then they should be fine, as these dudes are also going for peace. But oh, Kerbo came in here and just absolutely stole this territory, and there's a bunch of good resources down here. So these guys have got to stop them from getting those resources, or they're pretty much gone. Surprisingly, this village is still alive. Let's go village lair. One. One person. One person here as well. Somehow these villages haven't been totally destroyed. But come on, these guys have got to destroy this before. They're like literally one tile away from getting that. Yeah, now they're going to war. And hopefully they're just going to go beat the crap out of this village. But... They've got one of these ores going. Do they have enough time to harvest it, though? I don't think so. I think this is the end of this little village, and they've saved their ore from being captured and, you know, totally eaten up, which is great for them, but not so great for Kerbo's little rebellion over here, which just lost a good village. And these villages are actually coming back. These guys are expanding. So even though they're at war, they're literally expanding. Which is, oh my goodness, this is a giant down here. Wow, that is honestly pretty cool. Hopefully that guy can do some work against these dudes. Oh, they're about to go to war as well. So it looks like it's in a constant state of war at this point. And honestly, I really do like this map. 
I love that these guys are allied together. It makes for some very, very cool fights. You can see all the different colors going. And yeah, wow. Oh, did green team just get destroyed? Yes, it did. All right, Watermelon's Brigade is about to fall. Yikes, but these two are actually expanding very rapidly. If they can close off this, then they pretty much have this whole area secured for them. But Watermelon's Brigade, two, one, and zero. They have fallen. Sadly, our first death has already happened. Oh, up here, this village has just fallen as well. It looks like the tides are turning, and Circuit's grand victory last time has turned into a spiraling amount of defeats on the battlefield as they slowly lose their cities. But these guys are going for peace, so if they can hold on a little longer, then all they have to do is take on these guys. They can easily take on one at a time, but they just can't take on both of the kingdoms at the same time. So, yeah, a horrible conquest of Kerbo's Remnant has ended. And now they're starting to leak into here and gain a bunch of territory. So, yeah, these guys are still at war, though. So hopefully their armies are going to be able to come down here, consolidate, and take out the Odessian holdout. But I think since it's pretty much a stalemate, I'll go into another time lapse and we'll see who gets the upper hand. <laughs> Okay, so we're pretty much still in a stalemate. These guys are surprisingly holding on to their civilization very well, but I'm not sure for how much longer they can hold on because these dudes are constantly growing and they're just pretty much one of them fights and then they sue for peace, then the other one goes and fights them. And sometimes these two even team up. So over time, I do think that these guys are literally just going to get annihilated. But I think what we should do, let me check something real quick. Who is still alive? We haven't really lost anyone else, which is great. Level 11, 10. Wow, they are going ham. 53 kills. Holy crap. Foe is absolutely popping off with the bow, just sniping people. Holy moly, the elves are great with the bows. So if they can research into like heavy bow technology, then they should be able to survive and win. Because I mean, yeah, look at them. They've only got a few swordsmen, which aren't really the best, but the bows are just clapping the enemy team. Holy moly, are they good. Just look at them go. Absolutely insane. And here we got some more troops coming down as well, which is just great. And I think Kerbo's Remnant might actually pull off a victory here. That's who I think is going to win. I mean, just look at these ginormous swarms moving in. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Look at them go. And now they're marching on Foe's tribe while most of their troops are down fighting the Odessians. But... Yeah, now they're pretty much in the village, so they're sending townspeople to go up and fight. The Odessians won that fight, so now they're, since they're not at war with each other, they're sort of teaming up. Not really, but, you know, they're both trying to kill these guys, and they're not against each other. And, yeah, these guys are going for peace now, just as the pattern foretold. And now it's Kerbo's Remnants versus these guys. If they, if their um, ally, like, what is it called? Yeah, if, if they stop being allies, then they're pretty much gone. So hopefully they can just stay together. Oh, there's only one of these left. Yikes. Kerbo. Oh my goodness, look at this. If this cannot, oh, but the archers, I forgot about the archers. Yeah, just look at them rain fire from their little strategic holdout here absolutely grand and there goes that whole army to the archers 
Now, they've really got to push their advantage here. They're pretty much stuck. I've given them great choke points, so they can't really be defeated, but... Circuit was just killed. By this dude. Wait, what? Why was he... Huh? Was he sniped from up here? Don't tell me... Sorry about that. A uh, little bit of some funky stuff happened with my recording, but... It was really five or six seconds, so nothing has really happened. Except for peace. They're all at peace now. But as I was saying, Circret, I guess, came up here and just got annihilated by Kerbo's remnant force. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to make another video on this map. I mean, these guys are probably going to be destroyed in the next, like, 10 minutes. But... You know what I'm going to do? Let's go to, where is it? World Laws. Turn off Diplomacy. And we're going to make them go to war. Everyone's at war with everyone. Just destroy each other. So, yeah, just a very, very violent end to the video. Everyone's at war with each other. It's every kingdom for themselves. These ones with the strategic positions here and the bows should hopefully survive. If these two fight each other more than they fight with the elves, then the elves are going to win. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Oh, but, you know, it could. The humans or Kerbo's remnant are moving in here. And hopefully they win this. Like, honestly, one of these two, these guys lost the first time. If Circret wins again, the next time we're going to need to do some big measures to make sure that Circret gets destroyed so if you have any ideas for that make sure to leave them in the comments but you know look at these guys go look at them go fighting each other what are these these are the odessians i think right yeah oh my goodness everyone's pretty much collapsed except for kerbo's remnant who is still standing strong although these guys have been pushed out of some of their territory here as rats have totally infested the whole area. Foe's tribe is sadly not going to survive. Foe was just slain. That's actually so sad. But he had like 53 kills a while ago. So I'm going to bet he had at least 75 kills to his name. What a mad lad. Holy moly. How about any of our other real... What are these guys? Uh, Kerbo, come on, Ungar, go do something. Kerbo, Ungar aren't really doing much, and Topher is, you know, kind of just meandering around, I guess, chilling. He's decided to go for peace. But look at this huge army coming on down in here. The Republic of Circuit without a leader is probably not going to really survive much. Who, who overtook Circuit after his death? I would like to know. View your kingdoms. Alright. Who is this guy? I have no clue who this guy is. He's got 59 kills though. Alright. He is definitely a worthy king. So they don't have their original king, but their new king is definitely very, very powerful. But this army here is going to be a challenge to bring down. I mean, look at them. They've even got a couple archers that are just... Look at that range! And look at these guys go getting absolutely destroyed what they've got to do is they've got to push this little town up here but they're really not doing that Ooh, kerbo's remnant is actually grown by like five population somehow which is very surprising but honestly very scary yikes yeah like if if they can grow while fighting then that is definitely not good the odessians are actually like claiming territory within the little like, what are these little hallways that I did not intend anyone to control? I wanted these to be like battlefields and choke points in between civilizations. But if Kerbo can bring down Circret, then they are going to win. But they're just in a soft lock here as they can't penetrate this defense. So, um, uh, what to do here? A predicament, really. What I could do, let's see, what would be a really strong enemy to just throw at them and see what happens? 
How about, ooh, we could spawn in some of these little creatures here, biomass, tumors, cyber cores. You know what we could do? We could go down in here. Oh no, not that. All right, so we're gonna go like this and just hollow out a big old area right here. What to put in there? I'm thinking maybe biomass, too many eyes. It sounds spookalicious. Oh my goodness. Yikes, the swarm, swarm has assembled. Maybe we'll replace this with, yeah, oh my goodness, look at him go. Well, now we have a, another contender to the battlefields. Some of these eyeball creatures who are gonna be very, very scary, hopefully. And no, no, they're just getting bowed down. All right, now that the humans have bows, that's gonna be pretty scary. I mean, yikes. Speaking of bows and such, let's go to their cultures and see what they've unlocked. All right, so bows for, what are these? Elves have bows, the dwarves don't have bows. The humans though have bows, weaponsmith, ooh, increased weapons. Yikes, that is probably a worthless upgrade since they're invincible. More town, yikes. I think that's what the, oh my goodness, hold up. Even though I put this here to sort of like, I was intending for them to destroy Kerbo's coalition here and move up into circuit. But with the unlock of the bows, they kind of just destroyed these guys, went on past, and absolutely wrecked Sircret. And now the eyes have also been destroyed. Okay, so it looks like Kerbo is going to pull off a victory here. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh my goodness. The king, no. 4. Holy crap. 3, 1. And who is still alive? 0. Well, now it's just Kerbo versus... Ungar, who's gonna win this fight? Obviously, I'm hoping that my kingdom's gonna win, but I honestly doubt it. Kerbo is probably gonna win because last time they were the second victor, I think. I think they were the last ones. I think I was taken out first and then Sircrate destroyed Kerbo. So they're probably gonna be able to win this one. Although. You never know. Hopefully these guys are going to survive. But I honestly highly doubt it. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. As slowly we're being taken out here one by one. Not looking good, but you know. Yikes. We're just about on 100. They almost triple our population, which is kind of just really scary, but they don't have many more armies coming in. So if we can just hold off these armies, then we should hopefully not die immediately. But they're pushing really far. They're pushing like all the way to our spawn capital. And yikes, now that Sircret is not in the way, they have total control of pretty much everything on the map, which is not good. They could move into here, they could go up here, they could go down here. And, woo, new age, what age is it? Age of Ash. Ooh, spooky, what does that do? What is the Age of Ash? Sickness, air is thick, and it will not be a good time to live, but people Still hope to see another day. All right, interesting. So it's pretty much the plague, I guess, with sickness. Is this like the Dark Ages type of environment? Are the rats gonna carry the bubonic plague? Oh my goodness, Ungar was just killed. Okay, it looks like our last living person is Distorted Kerbo and Dofer who is still peaceful, right? Yep, absolutely zero kills. 174, 175, only one kill. Level 10 though, that's pretty nice. And yeah, 
I think it's pretty much over. The population's about to dip of below 100, and they have grown exponentially. This army is probably going to take us out. But just hold on, please. Just, like, get bows quickly. You need it. Oh, gosh. 70. And since dwarves are, like, the slowest to grow their population, it's going to be really hard to come back from this. Come on, please. Please just hold on, guys. All right, 70. Oh, but this army is here. We just started to defeat the other armies, but then they brought in reinforcements. And what is that? Another army forming down here, I guess. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, the next king was just killed as well. Yikes, come on. Just hold on a little longer. 60 population, 50. Oof. 50. Forty-five. Come on. Just... Thirty-nine. Oh. Come on, guys. Well, there's really not much to say. I wasn't expecting this video to be that long. And honestly, I don't really think anyone's here at this point. So, if you are... I am very thankful to you, my devoted viewer, for somehow watching this whole video that has slowly devolved into chaos as uh, my perfect landscape has been destroyed. And, you know, I mean, really, it's just a uh, very slow battle here. I'll make sure that la next time there isn't such long hallways in between so that we don't see stuff like this, but we'll have smaller choke points to be able to have some fun fights although yeah uh this map was cool in theory didn't really work out at all how i had expected um yeah so i'll talk to people on my discord and you should totally join if you haven't so that we can brainstorm to make the ultimate world box video next time and finally, the Odessian holdout has finally been eradicated, and Kerbo's Remnant has won the video. So, if you did enjoy, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Like I said, join the Discord with the link in the description. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!